Simon, and that looks again like, well, not a water leak this time, possibly an oil leak combined with water. Yes, uh, it looks like a very exploded engine there for attacking Inway as he gets out of the footwork hard and the end of his day. Massimiliano Pappas is still running, he's down in 17th place and uh, I wonder if they're going to be able to get that car away from the edge of the circuit easily. Yes, it looks as though they've got the, uh, the good old Tatra in there to throw oh, it away. One of the marshals has been hit by the Tatra. He's folding his left leg as that car came down to take Inouye's car out of the way. The marshal was a fire extinguisher. Either didn't see it or the driver of the Tatra didn't see it. The marshal was a fire extinguisher. He was thrown onto the bonnet. He held his left leg. I hope he's okay. And uh, well, that's just a further confusion to a situation that needs to be tidied up very quickly indeed. Michael Schumacher on the last lap did manage to close up slightly to Hill who got caught in traffic. So Damon Hill's last lap at 123.9. Schumacher also affected by traffic but by not quite as much as Damon Hill. So Schumacher now trying to close up that gap. And looking down into the pits, John, it looks to me as though Ferrari are getting ready. They're helmeted up, they're getting ready in the pit lane for a pit stop. And so is the Jordan team, they're bringing out wheels and tires. There's that incident again, you can see the marshal sitting, dropping down to the ground. And, well, all sorts of confusion because the car is still by the race, or up the edge of the race track. It is mandatory to leave the steering wheel, put the steering wheel back in place. These cars also have got to have a button that will release the car should it be in gear that it goes into neutral that it can be towed away to safety that part of the circuit will be under a yellow flag so should anybody have any ideas at all about passing forget about it